Hi everyone, in this video I'm doing a JPEG versus RAW example here. What I did is I got a photo of a model called Linda Liu and uh, when I took the photo my flash went off but I also set off another flash which was in the room which had an orange gel on it. Uh, so what I'll just do is I'm just going to reset this photo. This is what we've got as the, the JPEG. So this was a JPEG shot. Um, I shot in RAW and JPEG simultaneously and if I go to reset this is what the photo was like. So as you can see all the light on the model is from this orange flash up in the corner which is it's just whoops my mistake. Now with JPEG whenever you're trying to edit it afterwards you don't really have that much control over the white balance or the temperature of the image. So here this orange colour is a very very low temperature it's around about the 3000 Kelvin um, but here you don't really have a choice of changing the actual temperature so you can bring it down a little bit but that's just kind of it just doesn't quite work it doesn't quite do it so if we were trying to get skin tones uh, here I'd have to bring this right down but now she's purple so maybe I need to bring the purple down and then she's kind of green and then it's it's just not working what I could try is doing the uh, little drip button so what I do if I click on that I take this over and I take it to what should be white so if I click on that as you can see it's gone down to minus 100 and minus 33 but that's still not working let's see if we shoot here view no and there no okay so I'm not able to really get uh, proper skin tone so the best I could probably do here is let's say I probably take the vibrance down a good bit let's crop it in so I'm just dealing more on her face contrast up a little bit and saturation so it might work as a black and white okay so it works as a black and white but if I was wanting to get the color back skin tones here it's just not going to happen no matter what I do that's almost as close as we're going to get now what I'm going to show you now is the raw conversion and as I'm sure you'll agree this is not bad what I'll do is I'll just make a virtual copy so you can see the original again. So this was the raw file and if I go to reset, that's how it came out. So you're like, oh no, ruined photo, ruined photo. This flash has gone off and I can't get anything. And if you look at her, she is completely orange and red. But if I go to the white balance sector up here, I can actually choose the white balance. Now if I reckon, because this is totally orange, this is... About 3,000 and as you can see there's kind of a whole pile of different colors going on there so we've got that's almost white she's still kind of orangey but there's a purple there so definitely need to bring the purples down still bring the white balance down and down a little bit more okay so yeah we're, <laughs> we've gone down to 2,000 but what that is is it looks a little bit Bit, uh, still a bit too much. So what I'll do is let's just bring it back down so we're just dealing with her again. And I think this is definitely one for bringing the vibrancy down. So here, vibrancy right down, that looks much better. Um, say just to about minus 50, around about there. And I can also change the camera calibration so it gives me the kind of in-camera settings and if I go to portrait, then that gives a slightly softer look there. Um, so there, let's uh, if we go from that was the raw version, or that was my other edited raw version. Oh, I think I think like my other one. Uh, and the best I could do with the JPEG, which was this. So on the left, that is the absolute best I could do with the JPEG, and on the right, that's what you can get with the raw. So if we were to zoom in, so if we go from one to the other, one to the other, one to the other, without a doubt, the raw wins big time. So it's just an image which just could not be rescued with the JPEG unless it's going to go black and white. But even then, I think in black and white, it doesn't really look that great. You know, she is an absolute stunning girl, but I, I think this one is really much better looking at the colours there. There you go. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.